Hello, and happy Clue Day. It is July 1st. I'm Hiroja Scheib. You are watching Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And today is Clue Day. Uh, the world key has been released, and the clue has dropped. And there is a mini hunt of $1,000 in BTC at a geolocation in Taipei. So, as you already know, I like geolocations. I like that people were able to get out there and explore, be Dora the Explorer, be, uh, I don't know, Indiana Jones, if you will, uh, Drake from Uncharted, just getting out there, exploring, networking within your, your clans or your individual grouping, getting to these locations and acquiring the key. So we're going to get into the clue. Um, we're just going to focus on the clue today. Keep it simple. And uh, talk about a couple things that are associated with the clue. And some improvements, I think, with the disclosure with this clue about. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, the other geolocation, the Freedom Key, has been found. Uh, it hasn't been publicly disclosed as of yet. But that the last geolocation has, key has been found. Uh, so we have the world key dash Taipei. The clue is called Taipei 101. And the clue reads as this. One key and an additional 1,000 in BTC have been distributed at all corners of Taipei by our agents. Note the game makers have stated this a couple times, but for clarifications to Anyone who doesn't know this or any new hunters, the BTC that is given out in these mini hunts does not come from the main prize pot. These are separate uh, Bitcoin amounts, if you will. The treasure is split into a set of five pieces. Maybe prepping the, the hunters here with a use of Shamir. One set of five pieces will be distributed at Taipei ABS or the Asian Block Summit. 2019 on July 2nd and July 3rd. Another duplicate set has been distributed is now available within a small radius of all locations provided below. And here are the geolocations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See you in Taipei. So if you get to these geolocations today, you have the prize bounty and the key. If you're not able to get to these geolocations, well, you still have two separate occasions to at least acquire the key for your individual self or the clan. So the Asian Block Summit, uh, it's July 2nd through the 3rd, as is stated. Uh, there's over 4,000 blockchainers in Taipei City in Taiwan. Uh, there's a lot of these uh, conferences that occur within the Bitcoin space, like any kind of industry. Uh, they were more frequently during the ICO craze. But a lot of these now that are occurring, at least within the last half of 2018 and beginning of 2019, have been more professional, been more dev centric, been more, uh, I would say, less shilling and more informational and in trying to build and bridge and it almost in a sense more of a fancy like Bitcoin meetup, a number of these different conferences, but it's taking place in, um, in Taipei. So there's quite a bit of competition as soon as word gets out. And even though I'm on Twitter and uh, different other social outlets, the, the, you know, WeChat is very big in Asia. So I imagine some people on the WeChat have gotten this information or even Twitter or whatever outlets are available out there within the Taipei area and the social media circles of the conference goers. I imagine that you're going to get people just coming out and trying to acquire $1,000 in BTC. As I mentioned in my uh, in the weekly update that is up, right there is a link as well as a link at the end of the, the sh of this episode. There is a Binance Super Meeting that's also taking place in Taipei, which is July 2nd at the same location in the Marriott Hotel. And then I just kind of threw this up here just to, just to show that uh, it's a densely populated city there's a lot going on here um, via the google maps uh, we do have geolocation coordinates but they did state and i want to go back to the clue 
There's a small radius of all locations provided below. I, I, I appreciate that word phrase because again, with the room key, there wasn't that room phrase. It was just a flyer. And many people just kept going and going back to the exhibit, going around the exhibit, talking to people from the exhibit. They didn't really know what was going on. And the fact of the matter is that the QR code is outside the building in that general vicinity using a kind of a culturally speaking, a very Western emphasized stickering uh, objects or buildings, if you will, or hydrants and things of that nature uh, for the QR code. But stating now available within a small radius of all locations, with the awareness of what happened with the room key and that little phrase, it kind of gives hunters out there and clan members to be like, look out all around you, look for anything that is odd. Everything is a clue. You're going to be just like a mad person just dashing around looking at these, at these grid coordinates. So good luck to the hunters. Good luck to the clan. The world key is out is in Taipei, you have the opportunity to acquire $1,000 in BTC or earn that key for yourself or for your clan. Uh, this is Hiroja Shai. This is Hoshi's Treasure Hunters. And on with the hunt.